Hi, I'm Andy Rickmer, and welcome to this episode of Scratch Cooking. Come into my restaurant at Crystal and Jewels in downtown Madison. Oh, uh, too close? Too close? Too clo okay, okay. All right. Welcome to this new show of Scratch Cooking with me, Andy Rickmer, chef and owner at Crystal and Jewels. Got me a brand new chef jacket for these new episodes. Um, but let's get started. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to make fresh pasta from scratch. Everybody says it's real hard, but I'm going to I'm going to tell tell you it's easy. It's very very easy. It's three ingredients. It's flour, eggs and salt. A little bit of oil to kind of kind of get it moist and stick together, but it's real easy. Now here at Crystal and Jewels, we use what's called a uh, semolina flour. We do half semolina and half all purpose. And what the semolina is going to do is that's going to actually give it a little bit more tooth bite to where it's a little bit stronger. Um, it's perfect for raviolis and, um, and getting that perfect al dente on your pasta. So what I'm going to do first before I get started on this pasta is I'm just going to get my water on. Start getting it up to a boil. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make kind of a well in the center. I'm going to give it a really good pinch of salt. This is one cup semolina and one cup all purpose. So we got a real good pinch of salt in here. Mix that up real good. And I'm going to put three whole eggs in here. Three whole eggs. And then I'm just going to do probably a tablespoon of oil. Um, I just do one squirt with my squirt bottle. That's, that's how what we use. But now I'm just going to kind of Mix up these yolks, get everything mixed up real good. And what you want to do is you want to get this in kind of a, a tight ball. I kind of keep one hand clean until all the stickiness starts to go away from it. And this will be sticky, um, but it'll get better. It'll act like it's never going to come together, but then all of a sudden it will. And see, once you get to this stage, to where it starts coming together, that's when you want to just start picking it up and kind of start the kneading process. And what you want to do when you start getting this kneading process, it takes a little bit of muscle, but you just keep turning it over, and you'll knead it for about knead it for about five minutes, and it'll turn into a perfect ball, and it'll end up like this here. This is what you'll end up with. Once you get it kneaded, it's kind of a kind of a hard, hard dough. And that's what you want right there. So now from here, I'm gonna start the rolling process. Alright, so now we're ready to roll this out. And what I'll do is I just kind of take a little bit of flour on my work area, just so that way it don't stick to the table. And now this roller here, this is a, this is a really good roller. Um, you don't have to buy anything like this. I'm sure you've seen the tabletop ones where you use your hand. Um, they also have attachments for like your KitchenAid to where you stick a roller on the end, roll it all out, and then you stick the cutter on, you can cut it into fettuccine. I think they got fettuccine, spaghetti, um, all that. I'm gonna kind of take my knife, kind of give it a good quick cut. I'm gonna go right into my roller here. I'm just going to kind of start to feed it through. And then I'm going to just keep going down a new notch every time. Fold it over once. Go back to the highest setting. And right now I'm just kind of building my sheet so that's way so that way it's really good and straight. See my edges are getting there, so now I'm gonna go back down. Go down to nine. See it's getting thinner.
And like I said, the KitchenAid one works really good if you got a KitchenAid at home. Uh, I've used it. That's what we used before we got this roller. Um, but it just makes the process a lot easier. If you use them table tabletop ones, it just kind of it makes it harder because you got to kind of crank it at the same time you're feeding it. So now I got to get me a big sheet of pasta. And from here, you could take it, get you some egg wash, and put your favorite filling in there. And then just kind of fold it over, egg wash the sides, fold it over, and make you some homemade raviolis. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of cut it down. I'm going to go right through the cutter here. <clears throat> All right, so, so now I got my fettuccine noodles. I'm just kind of going to kind of give these a little bit of flour to keep them from sticking. Right like that. I'm going to cut this one. And that gives you a nice, nice ball of fettuccine pasta here. Now from here, from, from when we had it in the sheets, you can hang it up, let it dry for half hour or so. It'll get real, kind of like what you buy in the store, get real dried out. Or, uh, or you can just go straight into the water. All right, so now that it's cut, we're gonna go straight into the boiling water. Now this don't take, this takes about a minute compared to fresh pasta to where it takes like seven minutes. This goes pretty quick. So even now, I'm just gonna shut my water off. It starts floating. Once it starts floating, can I give it a second? Feels good to me. We're gonna strain it out. All right, once it's in there, I'm gonna go straight into the ice water. And now, if you're cooking this at home, you can go straight into your pasta sauce when it's hot like this, but I like to cool it down because then I get a chance to get my sauce ready and it just kinda, I, I make sure I get the consistency I want. So I wish you could feel this, but um, it's, still, it's still good and I mean you could still pull it a little bit and it, it's got some, still got some strength to it. But um, from here you'd go right into your sauce and cook it up. So that's how you make fresh pasta. No hidden secrets, it's pretty easy. Yeah, it does take a little bit more time, but if you come try it at a restaurant, Crystal and Jules, you'll notice the difference from the dried pasta you get everywhere else. This, this really separates, this would separate you from everybody else if you could just make all this. But uh, come see us at Crystal and Jules. We're open Tuesday through Thursday, five to eight, Friday and Saturday, five to nine, downtown Madison. Thanks for watching Scratch Cooking. We'll see you next episode.